In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six candlelight infographic options slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first candle appears, we can see here, you can just add some uh, kind of a 3D bar here. And then within the flame, you can add the option number and the detailed text. And on my next click, it will show me the second option with a higher bar here, 3D bar. And then the third option comes here with some different color combination. Then this is the fourth option. This is the fifth option and this is the sixth option. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. Select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size. Don't make it circle, make it oval shape and shape outline, make it no outline and then right mouse click, edit points. You can see here the four points are there. So I'm just going to select the bottom point. You can see here and then you have got, let me just zoom in. You can see here you have got a uh, two small lines uh, with the square end. I'm just going to drag this inside. Can you see here? Something like this and here also you have to just select this one and just drag it something like this. Okay, so you end up getting the shape something like this. Now I want to give a kind of a flame shape. So again, right mouse click, go to edit points. Let me just select this one. And what you can do is one point, you can just drag it inside. Can you see here? So it becomes something shaped like this. And here also you have to just drag it one inside here. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. You can see here. And if you feel that some more things you need, then you can increase the size or decrease the size. You can increase further, something like this. Also, you can make it. It's up to you how you want to do this one. So this is one design is ready. Select this shape, right mouse click, go to format shape and go to effects. From effects, go to 3D rotations. From presets, you can just drill it down and then you can select maybe this one which is the perspective right you can see here and go to the 3d format and go to the depth and increase the depth you can see here somewhat it increased the depth and i'm going to change the color this to white color so you can see it and then if you want you can just change the lighting effect if you want more darker whichever way you want you can just do with this so you can see here let me just select this one so it looks something like this now i'm going to draw the bottom part go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size make sure that it is center align shape outline no outline again shape fill you can make it white go to insert shapes select the oval shape let me just zoom in and draw the oval shape on top of this rectangle you can see here to give a 3d kind of look and this one you can give some light color shape outline make it no outline and go to effects shadows you can give any shadow effect maybe i'm going to give this shadow effect you can see here it is it has given more depth to it all right so once this is done you can add the bottom part also let me just bring it somewhat down go to insert shapes and if you want you can just add one more here at the bottom or i can add my the bars now for that i'm going to select the rectangle again draw the rectangle make sure that this is not fully uh touching the you can see here give some gap maybe this much gap you can give again shape outline you can make it no outline and this you can give some gradient color some beautiful gradient color you can give so let me just give some gradient fill select the gradient fill so by default you have got four stops if required we can add more also and the type let it be li linear the direction i'm going to select any direction like this you can see here the first thing I'm going to select the first top, go to colors, more colors, and maybe I'm going to give some red color combination, dark red, you can see here. 
and this side also the extreme right also i'm going to give the same color and here i'm going to select this more color and then you can give some lighter color so that uh, it can it look like a, a kind of a, a reflection or a metallic look you can give some more other colors also you can see here so whichever way you want you want more orange this side you can just move the orange here or if you feel that these colors are not good you can just go to more colors and maybe you can give a combination of pink you can see here whichever there are a lot of combinations available so you can just try out some good color combinations from there so you can see here whichever way you feel you can just add this one so once this is done you can give the same uh, effect here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape let me just zoom in you can see here if you want you can increase the size also it looks something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some darker color and again if you want you can give the shadow effect something like this and the same thing control d copy and this time this will be the i'm going to select the white color here and i'm going to change the this one uh, direction also i can just go and change from this one to say which is the top one that is this one you can see here you can just select this one or i can just select maybe inside top and again give maybe the white color bring it down you can see here bring it down at the bottom and just put it here so it looks something like this you can see here so once this is done you can add some text here add some uh, reflection so many things you can do with this now let me add the option number and some detailed text go to insert text box just put the option number you can put uh, a b c d also or you can put 0 1 2 3 also and change the font any font of your choice you can change it and put it in the center go to insert text box add your detailed text here either you can add the detailed text here or if you feel that the space is not sufficient then you can add it either the on top of the candle or at the bottom of the candle also so once this is done i'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all just move this aside and how many candles you want you can just press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i'm just duplicating maybe five i need so you can put it five and then change the option to this is second this option is third this is the fourth option and this is the fifth option you can see here and then it's easy you can just come here and change the color of your choice let me just change one color here i'm going to use both sides dark blue and here i'm going to use a lighter color maybe this color i'm going to use it you can see here and here somewhat darker than the first one maybe this color so you can see here you can do a lot of different color combination and here also you can just select some uh, dark blue color and at the bottom also you can select the same dark blue color so this way you can just change the uh, colors and if you want you can add more candles also and the last step is to do the animations let me just close this uh, go to the animations enable the animation tab and then before uh, adding any animation just make sure to group this you can see here i'm just going to group the flame first along with the text see i'm just going to highlight something like this with my mouse and press ctrl g to group it just do one by one for all you can see here and then i'm just going to group this one the inside design you can see here so this three and here i'm going to do that one now 
if you want you can just change the size i can see here i can reduce the size and bring this down so whichever way you want you can just uh, do it so if you want to increase this one you can increase degrees or whatever and this also these two objects also i'm going to group it you can see here these two i'm going to select hold the shift key select this one press ctrl g all right now let's do the animation i'm going to do the animation for first this one you can see this one i'm going to do the animation i'm going to say wipe you can see here the wipe make it from bottom and then that happens then i'm going to put this one this also i'm going to put a wipe you can see here and this should happen after previous and then the flame should come flame for that go to the more entrance effect and i'm going to say stretch click ok and stretch say from bottom so it comes something like this and then this also you make it after previous so it comes something like this you can see here now it's easy for me i'm going to just select this one animation painter click on this one then i'm going to select this click on this you can see here then again i'm going to select this one so it comes something like this you can see here so likewise you can just add the animations to the rest of the options that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye